Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with Aiden and Raven who are currently at Fairyfall and uh, you guessed it, we're here with Wayfinders, which means that there's been an update. So actually there's been a couple updates. Raven, are you okay down there? I'm gonna make sure she's okay. <laughs> uh, there's actually been a couple updates though. So first of all, a rather large one that, Raven, are you okay? Uh oh, <laughs> Raven, oh, I think she's okay. So she she got out, she got it, we're good, okay. We're gonna actually leave Fairyfall and uh, head out of Junction Butte territory, I think, and kind of go back to the No Man's Land and uh, maybe down to the Lamar Valley because there's been some big updates and one of the uh, one of the bigger updates, well, the bigger of the two, has been, and I already see part of it in the distance, some animal behavior updates. So there's actually, I think, an eagle flying around up there. It looks like one of the eagles. There's now bald eagles and golden eagles in the game. Um, well, the bald eagles were there before. Uh, sometimes you could find them at carcasses, but they actually fly around and do stuff now. The bald eagle will go fishing, and the golden eagle will go hunting, and there's also ravens that'll fly around. Um, the foxes, I think, may hunt as well. Um, I think they maybe tend to hunt more in the style that we used to see them hunting in 2.7, though. Uh, the coyotes will hunt hares and stuff, and um, the stranger wolves will actually hunt all manner of... Um, of different things. Raven, do you want to eat a little food before we go? Okay, that's fine if you don't. But we'll head down to the valley. I kind of want to get out of the territory because I'd like to see if we can observe some of the behavior. But one of the bigger things now is that uh, the prey animals, the, namely the mule deer and the elk, will actually participate in the autumn rut now. So basically what the autumn rut is is when the... Um, the, you know, because in Wolf Quest, we as the wolf have to try and find a mate. That's one of the big goals, and that's what the prey animals are doing at this time of year, too. This is the, the time when a lot of the animals have just come out of adolescence. They're new adults now, and it's time for them to start families. And so the deer and the elk will actually compete to see which is the strongest, and they will actually fight each other uh, to try and get the best chance of having a mate. So that's when you see the, the big males clashing with their antlers. That's what this is. That's what the, that's what the rut is, basically. And um, so that's now in the game. I don't think the moose do it yet, but I know the mule deer do and the, uh, the elk do. I'm, I'm not sure... I'm sure moose do it, but I don't think they do it in the game at this point, at least. So we're going to head down to the Lamar Valley and see if we can see any of that. Maybe we'll look for some of the eagles because the bald eagles will fish as well. That's a raven, I think. And I can hear some of them calling. Oh yeah, there's a gold eagle right, golden eagle right down there and it actually looks like it's hunting. And there's something going on down there too. I see he, the eagle just caught a hare. There's a coyote in the distance hunting a hare as well. So that's part of the new behavior. You can see this guy's actually flying off. Let me get up into head cam. You can see he's flying off with a hare. I don't know if you guys saw that on camera. Hopefully it was pretty visible, but yeah. So that's one of the new behaviors is the golden eagles will now, uh, they'll, they'll now hunt the hares. Now, if you've played 2.7 or any of the older versions of Wolf Quest that include Slough Creek, this is not the first time that a golden eagle has been in the game. The uh, infamous pup stealing eagle is a golden eagle as well, and uh, I can't help but fear just a little bit that this might be a taste of what's to come. I mean, we can definitely see them flying off with the hares now. I I'm a little bit worried it might get even more traumatic if they come after our pups. Uh, so hopefully that's um. Hopefully that's not a super ominous warning sign, like I'm a little worried it might be. Uh, these two are definitely getting a taste for some of the dangers they may have to face whenever that update finally does come out. So we're going to head down to the valley floor though and uh, see if we can find any... Oh, there's a bald eagle down there, it's flying towards the river. And there's also an elk herd here, I don't see... So there's... Oh, there's there are mule deer here though. There's, it looks like two does and two fawns. But um, I don't see any bucks, so I'm going to keep going because I see some eagle heading towards the river there. And the elk, I don't see any of the bachelor herds. Those are the ones that you have to keep an eye out if you want to witness the fights. The bachelor elk herds are the ones that you can see sometimes that are just the males, just the big bull elk. And what those are are the ones that don't ha currently have a herd that might try and look to usurp a herd and uh, take, o take it over from the resident male. So it, herd dynamics work a little differently for a lot of prey animals. Um, it's a little, little bit different than uh, the wolves where they'll just have a single bonded pair for the most part. 
and uh, so normally things would work a little differently there you have you generally have one male with a big herd of a lot of females and so when you have a competition to find a mate a lot of the time it's those big males looking to usurp control of a herd like that raven sniffing around hopefully she's not too hungry neither one of these guys have been too hungry so hopefully it's not too big of a uh, too big of a concern for her. <laughs> she may just not be hungry yet. There's moose over there as well, but uh, they don't seem to be uh, like I don't even see a bull over there. <laughs> so we'll leave them be for the time being. And uh, these guys have already proven they can take down a moose calf, so they don't really need to mess too much with that. Uh, plus they're very full at the moment, and if anything, getting a little bit tired. But I want to make my way down here to the uh, river and see if we can catch some of the eagles fishing because we saw one of the golden eagles hunting already but i want to see if we can see any of the bald eagles fishing because that happens down here is that one flying in the distance i'm not sure that might be a raven or a golden eagle that one might be a bald eagle it looks a little bit like it has a pale head but we'll kind of run alongside the river here a little bit and just kind of hang out for a bit and see if we can find anything. Oh, that's the border of the map. There's actually a cougar over there as well. Kind of keep an eye on that. Oh, this is... Wait. Where am I? Oh, we gotta... We actually have to go this way. Okay. So we gotta go a little deeper to get to the point where the river is. We gotta head in this direction. And we'll see if we can find any eagles fishing down here. We'll kind of take a look around and see. And then I'm going to try to go hang out and see if we can see any of the deer or the elk fighting. Because that, of course, is a big part of the new update as well. And it's very, very cool to get to watch. So I would love to show that to you guys if I get the chance. Um, is that... That's, I think, a golden eagle, possibly? I don't know, I'm not too sure. We gotta watch out too, because we don't want to get attacked by stranger wolves. Now, the other thing is the stranger wolves will hunt as well. The strangers and the dispersals will actually hunt prey now. Oh, 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 and there's coyotes over there. Coyotes, I think. I think. I see him moving, but I think they were just chasing a hare. Is that? Yeah, he's carrying something. Look at, he's carrying something. Is. I'm gonna steal it from him. <laughs> is that? Yeah, that's a coyote. And he's got. I'm pretty sure he's got like a hare in his mouth. If we bite him, will he drop it? Oh no, he doesn't have one in his mouth. I thought he did though for a minute there, it looked like it. It was kind of hard to see. But they were definitely hunting something and there's actually a hare over there. So I wonder if they're going to head in that direction. They're a little scared of me right now, probably because I just bit one of them. <laughs> but no, he's going he's gonna to chill out. But there was a hare over in this direction. It almost looked like he was carrying something for a minute though. But I think it was just his face. <laughs> they have kind of light colored faces and it looked a little bit like one of the hares perhaps. So, let's see here. Is this the river? This is the river. So, I don't know if we'll get to see the eagles fishing. Hopefully, we'll get kind of lucky. And we'll probably do that and then settle down for the night somewhere kind of safe and out of the way. Because uh, it is getting a little bit on the late side here. <gasps> is that some... Oh, yep, yep, yep. We've got an eagle. We've got an eagle. Look at him. Look at him go. He's not quite... He, he's, he's, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about going down and fishing here. I'm actually going to go into head cam. So, you can do that by pressing T. And, um... That lets you get a bit of a better look around if you just want to stand still and look at what's happening. Are you going to fish? I think he might fish. He looks like he's thinking about it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's going to fish. He's going to fish and he's flying off with a fish in his claws there. Isn't that so cool, you guys? That's actually, this is the best view I've ever gotten of it on camera here, uh, even throughout the testing period. So that's pretty cool to get to see uh, that uh, the eagles are the eagles will fish now and uh, the golden eagles will also go hunting. So <laughs> I think that's just it's it's a great addition to the game. It adds some nice ambience and it really makes the world like this. One of the best things about this update is the way it really makes the world feel that much more alive. So there have always been other animals in the game, of course they've had to be because the ecosystem depends on um, all all of its different inhabitants. And, of course, you know, we've had our experiences, we know, with hunting and uh, fighting. But to see the world now interacting with each other and the other inhabitants of the world interacting with each other, uh, that's a really amazing thing to get to see now. And it really just makes it feel more like you're part of a greater ecosystem. And I just think that's the coolest thing. <laughs> so we will sleep down here for a bit. I'm kind of keeping my eyes out for one of the other features, but I don't see it right now. One of the features of actually the more recent update. And it looks like we're going to actually dream a little bit here, thinking about all the ravens he's seen, and the bear and some deer, and a uh, wolf howling at the moon, and it looks like they those wolves maybe just hunted. Uh-oh, and pups and fire. 
that's ominous. <laughs> and then an elk, that's pretty ominous, but uh, it's now the start of the next day. It's kind of, it's about sunup. It's just at dawn here. We've got, is that a coyote? No, that's a hare. That's a hare running around. You know what? We're hungry. Let's get a snack. <laughs> so, we're actually, you know what though? Raven's probably more hungry. Let's leave let's leave this for Raven and uh, we'll see if she wants to eat that. Do you want to eat that, hun? Oh, I see deer. I do see deer in the distance. Oh, yeah, she's going to go eat. She's probably hungrier than us cuz Aiden was snacking. You can have that. Oh, she did have it already. Okay. Aiden's been snacking all the way along. But a Raven hasn't as much, so I want to make sure she stays nice and full, too. She's probably a little hungrier than us. So it looks like we've got a doe and a fawn out there. Oh, that kind of put us a little too low to the ground. Sometimes it's not so great for seeing things. Sometimes it's a little easier to see things uh, in head cam. And then I think it's a solo doe, possibly off to the left there. So I don't see any bucks, though. We'll, we'll have to see. The mule deer don't live in as big of herds as the elk do, and so they're a little bit smaller. And they're not, they don't, they're, they're a little harder to find a lot of the time. So if we can see the mule deer bucks fighting, that would be a really good thing. But I don't know if we're going to get that chance or not. We might just want to look around for an elk herd. There's actually an elk carcass somewhere too. But I know there's herds out here. I'm gonna look around and see if I can find one of them. Let's see, it's dawn, so they, they'd probably be a little bit out and about. There's a bear over there and some coyotes. They'd probably be out and about. We'll, we'll look around for them a little bit, see if we can find any, because I don't see any bucks near that mule deer family. Oh, 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 there's a mule deer buck down there, and is that... That's, I think, a doe and a fawn up ahead. I can't see too well, but there's that one down there is a buck. I can see the antlers. So, oh no, there's, that's a buck over there as well. Okay, so there's two mule deer bucks right here. I'm going to kind of just lay down and uh, we'll see, we'll see if we can, we'll see what happens. We'll see if these guys are going to go at it. They're definitely lingering around and so they might, uh, they might decide to have a bit of a, a bit of a, a scuffle here. So there's still two bucks over here, but I just noticed there's a third one kind of coming into the scene here. I don't know if there are any females around, though, so these two have seemed pretty peaceful with one another, and uh, I think that makes sense, because again, in the wild, you can't afford to just be fighting everybody ever all the time if uh, you don't have a good reason to, because a fight is a good way to get injured or even killed, and even if you escape with injuries, that still might be enough to get you killed, so... For example, with the mule deer, yeah, maybe one of them wins the fight, but if he's hurt and the wolves bring him down right away, then he still ends up dying. So it's probably, what are you guys doing? Are they, are they might actually be thinking about going at it. I don't know, but normally in the wild, you don't want to fight if you don't have a good reason to. And I'm not sure how much incentive there is if there's not any females in the area. They might still fight over kind of control of the area, possibly, but uh, they might be a little bit more hesitant to because, again, if they don't have a good reason to fight, there's no sense in getting injured or potentially even killed for no reason. Same reason why the wolves should generally try to stay out of each other's territory whenever possible. It's just not worth it to get uh, hurt or even killed if you don't have a very good reason to be putting yourself in danger like that. So, even though there's lots of these guys around, I'm not too sure if uh, we're actually going to see any action here, any combat action, because there's not really any does for them to be fighting over. I'll keep watching for a little bit, see if anything happens, see if anything shows up, because if this does seem to be a prime area for the mule deer to hang out. I don't even know where the one that went in the woods went. He kind of just disappeared. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep an eye out on what's happening over here. I think that's a coyote down there with them. And we'll see if uh, any, any females might appear... I don't think these guys are going to go fight, necessarily. Oh, Raven wants to play. Raven is very confused by how um, by how, how this is progressing. I think she keeps wanting to play and isn't sure why Eden's just laying around. We'll actually have to sleep again pretty soon. So if, um, if that doesn't... Uh, if we don't see any action here soon, I probably will go ahead and do that. Are those coyotes? They must be because they're not spooking the mule deer. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on these guys for a little bit longer, but I don't want to wait too long before uh, before resting again. 
So uh, I'm going to keep, keep hanging out around here and I'll let you guys know if anything happens. I'm going to let these guys rest because there's really not anything happening. So I think it's better to let them sleep for a bit. There are a lot of deer. I think there might even be five. I'm going to keep following them. This seems like our best shot right now. So I'm going to kind of track them a little ways in the woods here. Yeah, that's another... That's more deer. There's lots of them, apparently. So this seems like a promising place, possibly, to find... Uh, to find some fighting going on. If there if there's uh, mates to compete for, then that seems like where it would be where it would happen, where there's potentially a lot of options. So let's just kind of slink into the woods here, see if we can find where they went, and we'll grab a snack along the way. In fact, I think I'm going to give this one to Raven, because uh, she hasn't eaten for a little bit. There we go. Oh, she's gonna take it and run off with it. <laughs> but you can see some of the deer are down in this little clearing here, uh, just past the river. So I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on that. Hopefully we don't get attacked, because that would be a bit of a bummer. Oh, oh. Um, nope, never mind. They're here for us. I was gonna say, are those wolves gonna hunt? But no, they're after us. Let's, uh, let's, well, you know, actually... I don't know. Aiden's not going to run from a fight. We've got Wapiti 1F, and I don't know who the wolf biting me is, but uh, I'm sure we'll find out. So, let's see. Let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll attack you back. Wapiti 2M. All right. Oh, dear. These guys are a little bit of bad news. We'll go ahead and uh, try and take some of them down. Oh, nope. Uh, they're actually really efficient. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we need to... Um we need to do some damage in return here. They're they're actually fighting us quite well, so we gotta watch that health. But I think, okay, as long as uh, we can stay focused on this one, we can kind of keep up a relentless attack here. And, uh, oh, Raven's not doing so well over there, though. I think she'll be alright, though. She should be- ow, no, get off me, you jerk. <laughs> ah! Of course they came after us. They disturbed the deer, too, and I think uh, Aiden's been watching. He's been waiting. He's curious, and uh, I don't think he'd be too happy about that. So we'll see if we can drive these guys off. Raven's okay. Her health is not 100%, but it's not bad either. Um, oh, she does keep getting attacked, though. She's taking the brunt of the attacks. Uh, let's just make sure... Oh, Raven, don't run away. You gotta turn around and fight. Come on. Oh, dear. Oh, now, now we're getting attacked. Uh-oh. All right, um, we gotta, we gotta attack as best we can. Okay, Raven's chasing the other one. Yeah, you go get him back, or get her back. I think, actually, that one was the female. We've got no, no stamina left. Raven, watch out! Oh, no, we're gonna get attacked here. Yeah. Oh, did we? Did he just play bow? I almost looked like he play bowed there. I don't think so. I think he was crouch, or she was crouching and getting ready to attack, I think. But, uh, oh, no, hey, get off me! Get off me! We gotta be careful, because our own health is a little bit down. Get out of here, you jerks. We're trying to watch the dang deer and you two run in and just completely mess it up. This is why I didn't like doing this in wolf territory. I wanted to stay out of it if I could. This guy's getting pretty low on health, so we might be able to win this if we can sufficiently scare him. Oh, no, this one's going to do some damage, though. All right, I've got to rest and get my stamina up. Let's, let's focus on this one now as well. Oh, no, he's going to come after us, though. Let's focus on this one and see. All right, we've got to be careful. There's a bull moose there. That wouldn't be good. I don't want to get attacked by a moose. Raven's coming this way. Is the moose attacking the wolves? No, I don't think so. This other wolf's come in for the attack as well. We gotta regain some stamina. We're actually kind of a little bit low on it. Oh, are they on the run? They're on the run, okay. Now that they're gone, <laughs> we'll head out of the territory because we can't withstand another fight like that. So let's go ahead. We'll howl. We'll congratulate. And yeah, they're gonna howl together. And then we'll head out of the territory before we cause further problems. We actually, it I think, diminishes their territory just a little bit. So that's kind of a fun thing to, to know. But oh, we've got, actually, wait, we've still got... Is that a buck? If it's a buck, it might be worth sticking around. I don't think it is, though. No, we don't, the deer, the deer went back to being normal, but I don't think we can risk sticking around because uh, we're in some pretty bad shape right now. If we had to fight again, I don't think we'd be able to deal with it too easily. So, oh, this is Junction Butte territory. We're right at the borders, aren't we? 
All right, well, I don't want to tangle with that pack, so let's uh, let's get out of here. Hey guys, so a little bit of a weird ending to the episode. Uh, I know this is not quite what you guys probably expected, but uh, I actually learned some things after the uh, episode ended, and uh, as it turns out, if you go far enough in a save file, the elk will actually stop their rut. So basically, it only lasts so long in real life, and uh, that's reflected in game. So if you play far enough in the game, the elk will stop fighting each other. And uh, given how much time we have logged on the Wayfinder save, I'm pretty sure we've probably hit that point. So I really want to show you guys some elk in action. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to be giving the Wayfinders pack a little bit of help from a new friend. Well, not an entirely new friend, but uh, one of you guys haven't met yet. And this would be Mara. So... Uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit uh, of what might be up with the elk with Mara here. So Mara is actually one of my tester wolves. Um, I have a set of wolves that I use on YouTube. They're the ones you guys know and love from the various different legacies. But I also have some personal wolves that I use for my beta testing. And Mara is one of those wolves who uh, helps me out with the, the different testing. She's one of the ones that I use when uh, I need to check out new features in the game. And so she's going to be helping us today. And we're going to see if we can track down an elk herd. So this is the fescue herd. And they went up this way. We'll see if we can find a bull herd nearby. And uh, since this is a brand new game, hopefully we'll be able to actually see some elk in action. I hear bugling. That's a good sign. Alright, so we've got the snowbrush herd. Are they... Oh, they? do they go back? No, I hear the herd right nearby. Right over... Oh, they're right down there! Okay. And I think... So... Oh, that's a bachelor herd right there! Yeah, this is perfect, you guys, so you can see. Let's back off a little bit. The bull in the main herd is actually bugling at them as a bit of a challenge because he doesn't want them anywhere near. So, and they're answering. This looks like it's about to actually happen. So I'm gonna see if I can sneak in. I'll turn off the HD so you guys can get a little bit better of a view. There he goes. Look at this. This is what I was looking for. So the rest of the herd has realized that I'm here and are gonna take off. But uh, this guy's too focused on what's going on. He is about to get himself into a fight. These guys do get very focused, and you can actually get quite close. I want to be careful not to scare them, but they're going to keep circling each other for a little bit. Um, and sometimes they do kind of break off and just chill out for a little bit. They're just sizing each other up right now, so the rest of the herd is not too thrilled about me being here. But um, these guys are going to fight. That's what we're here to see. And you can see they're kind of taking it off this way, it looks like. I want to kind of, I'm gonna kind of run up here. Sometimes they take a little bit to circle and size each other up and find a good place to fight, but I'm pretty sure they're about to go at it here. As long as I don't spook them. Oh, don't do it where we can't see you. <laughs> they're going into the woods. That's not what I want to see. <laughs> oh my goodness! But they should do it in a little bit here. Yeah, they're definitely still interested in the fight. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's happening, it's happening. Look at this, you guys. Look at them go at it. That's what those big old antlers are for. Uh, they're, they're for fighting, they're for grappling here in the fight, and uh, it's going to be a contest of strength to see who ends up winning. So I don't know which one was the original bull. You guys may have been able to track that if you were watching all the way along. But we'll have to see which one of them which one of them wins. So sometimes they'll break off, sometimes they'll keep going and go at it again. I apologize for the weird little tree view. I'm getting as about as close as I dare here. Um, but I think they're still interested in possibly fighting again. So we'll, we'll see. They might they might decide to go at it again in a minute here. The rest of the herd I think is on the run, <laughs> perhaps. But these two still look pretty focused. So yeah, these guys do tend to get very focused in on what they're doing here. They get very focused in on the fighting. And um, they do end up, uh, end, up, end up fighting each other for 
quite a long and focused amount of time a lot of the time and it's very very cool to see so you can see this a lot if you especially very early in the game there we go again um you can you, you can see this happening quite frequently apparently it will stop towards the the late the later you go in a save the more chance it could stop so we might not be able to see this in all of our saves we probably definitely can't see it in wayfinders and there's a good chance we won't actually see it in um in uh, our wildfire pack uh, in their save as well so the thing with that though is um there's also a higher likelihood that we won't see it in those saves either because they are older ones and back towards the beginning the ai was written a little differently so in the new update these herds will follow the uh the, the bachelor herds will follow the main herds around that didn't really happen in the original version because the code wasn't in the game yet <laughs> and so the herds kind of got themselves split up and um so because of that if you're playing on an old save you might have a harder time seeing it for both of those reasons you might have to start a new save to be able to see it up oh, there we go they're at it again over there they're still fighting that other guy just doesn't care he's minding his own business but these two are very determined to see who's gonna turn out the victor here so it's very very cool to see um it's, it is honestly quite amazing uh, to get to watch and uh, just to think about oh he's running off too it looks like it looks like somebody uh, somebody lost the fight there so this guy I think is he yeah he's gonna go and take the the herd I don't know if he was the original one or not or but whatever it is he's gonna go and uh, head off to that herd there so that's a fight you'll get to see these De with decent frequency if you follow the herds around we got kind of lucky to see it so right away but if you follow the herds around you'll you'll have a good chance of being able to see it mule deer are much trickier to find as we found out with uh with aiden because they do have like they're they're not as easy to find in the first place as the elk and they just aren't quite as um and they're not as easy to to track down and the conditions have to be just right they're not always out in a big herd sometimes they're in more individual groups and so there's not always um a female around for the males to compete over but uh, if you're patient or a little bit lucky then uh, you'll get you'll get the chance to see that too hopefully Oh, look at that. He just caught a rabbit. He's got one. Look at he's got one in his claws there. I was just running was just running off here and this uh this eagle just snatched a rabbit right off the ground. So we got to see it again there. That, that's pretty cool to see. There's so many cool new features uh in this update. There truly are, but he's gonna take that off and, and go eat it, I imagine. So <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I forgot how much her eyes tend to look like they're glowing. She has very bright eyes, but uh, yeah, it's a dark and stormy night and I think we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys again for watching. I know it was a little bit of a strange episode. I'm glad we finally did get to see the elk fighting and uh, I don't know if we'll get to see that with uh, Aiden and Raven or even with Pyrrha and Nimbus, but uh, whatever the case, hopefully we will get to uh, to see it again in some of our future games but uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up so again this is Mara this is one of my tester wolves I might have to introduce some of the others in the future for little things like this if it ever comes up but uh, yeah <laughs> this is a little bit a little bit of a sneak peek into the behind the scenes of some of the things and some of the characters that I have that maybe you guys uh, haven't met before but uh, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So much lightning. Oh my goodness. But thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.